What's up, guys? Welcome back. Welcome back to the Redneck TV channel. And today, for once, we actually have a subject with this content. We're gonna be reacting to comments. Mainly hate comments, because I found a lot of those hilarious. But we also got some other comments that aren't hate comments. And at the very end of the video, we're gonna read all the comments on my channel from people over 100,000 subscribers, and then people with over a million subscribers who commented on my YouTube channel. YouTube famous people that actually care about my existence. Kinda crazy, I know. But first, I'm gonna absolutely obliterate these salmon patties. <laughs> Kicking it off old school today. Classic sit down style video. <laughs> Bless me. It's been a long time since I've done a video of this style. I actually started my channel like that. Kind of cool. Bringing back memories. <laughs> that was stupid. All right. Where's your mud jug, Ken? No. Mud jug is an L. Just letting y'all know, we don't like mud jug anymore. And if we're being honest, got severely underpaid for making hella sales for about four years of my life. I should be a millionaire. But, you know, I ain't the brightest star out of the bunch. Easy to take advantage of. So yeah, if you want to scam me, I'm probably the guy for it. Not so much anymore, but back in the day when I was intoxicated off tetrahydrocannabinol 24-7, pretty easy to take advantage of. All right, let's start out with the first comment. A little love comment. Physique is on point, G. Looking good. Thank you, man. Then this fat back bitch just got a reply. Take it from a lady's perspective. This comment is super gay. What a bitch, man. The homies can't support each other and give each other love. And I don't know if this girl's particularly like this, but almost every girl I've met, oh my gosh, hon, you look so beautiful today. They're always hyping their girlfriends up. And as soon as she walks away, you're like, she's such a bad bitch whore. Most women are like that. So I mean, what about y'all? When y'all are commenting on each other's shit, I'm G girl, slay, you're so beautiful. Take it from a dude's perspective. This comment is super lesbian. I feel like guys are the opposite almost. Like girls, they'll hype each other up in person and then as soon as they're away, Away from each other the talking shit the majority of guys when we're close friends together we just talk shit to each other and then when we're away we're like dude he's such a great guy bro what's up with the shirtless thumbnails you do realize your channel is 98 percent dudes and you even did one flexing shirtless that's sus unless it was for a female viewed channel or fitness channel you're trying to impress the wrong people um hey dumbass perhaps i'm trying to broaden and appeal to a different demographic instead of just yee yee ass bubbas. I'm somewhat of a yee yee ass hillbilly myself, but I still want my audience to be broad, you know? I want more than just yee yee motherfuckers to watch me. And on the topic of 98% dudes watching my shit, that may have been true a few years back. We bumping it up now, bruh. Like a 7% female audience now. I love females. And also, back two, three years ago, I would be shirtless in my videos. Hundreds of y'all haters didn't have problems with it back then. But now that I've been going to the gym, I'm getting somewhat of of a nice looking body. I'm shirtless in my video. Oh my gosh, you're so gay, dude. Just cause you're too insecure to pop your shirt off doesn't mean it's sus for me to try to get sunlight in the summertime. If I'm outside, my shirt's off. That's just how it is. It's that big of a deal. Only watch me when it's winter time. Tell me you have ADHD without telling me you have ADHD. <laughs> I'm sitting here bouncing my legs right now. I can't sit still. Always been like that. Shitty parents out there and a lot of people in my life have told me, dude, you need to get on some ADHD medicine, man. You're just always fidgeting. No. Pop a handful of pills every morning so I can be normal. Be like y'all fucking losers. I don't want to be like y'all. I want to be me. I love being myself. So why would I take a synthetic man-made chemical to change my behavior so I can be more normal? Well, Kenny, your brain will function a lot better by that. Yeah. If anybody in the world took Adderall, they'd be like, whoa, I feel so smart right now, man. The brain would work faster. But the thing is, with consistent synthetic drug use, about every single medication you can think of, you're getting a short-term gain for a long-term deficit. So when I'm 50, 60 years old, and I don't have Adderall anymore, uh... definitely won't be near as cognitively enhanced had I not taken Adderall my whole life or any other medication. Based on the information, facts, and studies I've read, that's my opinion. I'm never getting on any mind-altering synthetic substance. I thought this was funny. A few videos back, I made a little short sitting here with a cigar, kinda acting like the hillbilly Andrew Tate. And I had a little rant about fat chicks. How they're empowering each other, the fat positivity movement. Basically shitting on that, saying like, 
No, these fat girls need to be insecure. So it'll motivate them to do better. This guy. So treat someone poorly for the way they look, even if they have a medical condition that prevents them from being a twig. I replied to it. Sounds like someone's dating a fat girl. <laughs> my buddy told me to reply that. I can't take credit for it. I feel like my information was misconstrued in that video. I'm not saying to sit here and treat people like shit just because of the way they look. Don't bully somebody. Go out of your way to make them feel insecure for being fat, ugly, whatever. All I'm saying is the image of beauty does not need to be altered and changed because some chick wants to eat 12 donuts a day. Just because she's fat, lazy, and has no discipline doesn't mean Victoria's Secret needs to just only have fat plus size models. Change the beauty standards for fat chicks so they don't feel inferior when they're looking at all these beautiful models. Because that's what it is. They're beautiful. They tried really hard for their body. Makeup done to a T. It's sexy. It's beautiful. So we don't need to sit here and change the way we standardize beauty beauty just because you're fat. When you see these chicks that look better than you, because they do, you should feel insecure because it'll go in your head, oh man, maybe I should go to the gym, hop on a Stairmaster. But no, I mean, don't, don't treat a girl like shit because she's fat. I'm nice to ugly people, fat people. I don't care what you look like. It matters to me who you are as a person. I'm betting a billion dollars Kenny comes out gay. Dude, I don't have that much money. I mean, <laughs> pay up, bruh. <laughs> Dude, you're getting gay. There's so many comments, man. People saying I'm gay. It's a really big rumor now. I'll just leave that up to y'all. I don't care what y'all think about my sexuality, man. <laughs> Dumbass, trying to be a redneck wearing woke trans Nike. What a piece of shit. <laughs> I got Nike shorts on right now. I don't care about that shit, man. Bud Light, that's something different. I won't drink Bud Light anymore. Probably throw estrogen in their beer now or something. But as far as all my clothes that I spent my hard earned money on, I'm not gonna just not wear them because of some shit, depending on the severity of it. I'm sure over 90% of people that wear Nike don't support that shit anyway. No, 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 dude, you're right. I'll just only wear Carhartt from now on. Yee, yee. You racial fuck bick. <laughs> I got shooters. Tell me where to post it up. <laughs> Pull up then, cuh. You can find me posted up on Frank's block on my freaking game. I'm 12 and going to start dipping. Thank you. No, don't thank me. For, dude, I feel like a piece of shit now. Because all my old comment, it was how to dip for beginners. Probably a troll comment, but still, man. If you're a little kid and you're contemplating starting smokeless tobacco because of me, personally, I still dip because I feel it's a cognitive enhancer in certain aspects. But dude, it sucks. Cost a lot of money. You're gonna blow all your money on it. It receives your gums, makes your teeth more yellow, and girls really don't like it. They think it's nasty. There's so many bad things about it, man. Don't start dipping. You're an idiot. You're. It's actually you apostrophe R-E, dumbass. Let's just have a grammar lesson, okay? You're. Don't ever spell it you are. That's texting bullshit. When you're saying like, oh, that's yours. When you put the apostrophe R-E, that's short for R. So you are. You're a dumbass. You are a dumbass. Same thing for they, they apostrophe R-E, they are. Same thing for we, we apostrophe R-E, we are. Apostrophe V-E, we have. Simple grammar, man. Y'all should have learned this shit in third grade. Why have y'all forgotten? Hopefully somebody took away something from that. Don't forget it. Bad grammar makes you look stupid. <laughs> Guys, he's not on coke. He's retarded. <laughs> Did a little emojis. Oh, bro, that's funny. Don't worry, guys. He's not a drug addict. He's not snorting eight balls or nothing. He's just a retard. I've actually had a lot of people truly think I'm Down syndrome. I know there's something different about my mentality than most people, but I don't feel stupid. A lot of y'all may think I'm dumb, which is fine. You know, I'm dumb in some things, but for the most part, logically, and feel like I'm pretty smart. But then again, there was a study that people with lower IQs actually think they're very smart and people with higher IQs think they're dumb. Maybe I'm just so dumb, I oversimplify everything and I think I'm smart, but I'm really dumb. Mm. I, I don't care. Don't make me come to inbred Madisonville and whoop your ass, Kenny. Rip your shirt off. Bicep emoji. How do you know the city that I train in? If you really want to just pull up at the gym, spank me in the ass, and then rip my shirt off, I don't know, man. Might kind of like that. <laughs> Hello? What's going on? I'm recording right now. What up? Oh, you, you, uh, your last video about your mower. Oh, yeah? Did you like it? Well, yeah. I like, I like the, the video about, about the four-wheeler, too. Where I sunk my four-wheeler? Yeah. Uh, what do you think about, about Pops' old John Deere? What about it? Kawasaki. 
Cause like a champ. Yeah, it's badass. If I pass down to you, take care of it. You don't. What? What? What are you gonna use? I give me another push mower. No, nah, you need to use a ride mower, Dad. You got a lot to mow. You mow like five or six lawns a week. I want. I want you to have it. You know, for this. Can I pay? Can I pay you for it? Some things are, you know, they're all priceless. You know. Yeah, the mowers. But, Priceless like, to me like, because like, his pops is like, yours, but like I, don't, I don't feel right just taking it from you. You're not taking it from me. You're my son. I just put like a current eight dollar battery on it. <laughs> Will you let me pay you for it? Well, um, I really don't need money. Just time, time, all, 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 all time. You can't, you can't, you can't buy, you can't buy time. That's what I want. Yes, sir. Time, my boys. All right, we're well, going to court, man. That, that video was hilarious, though. I liked it. Thank I liked you, man. Beat that, beat that you cuss for this, too. It's pretty sensible, too. The John Deere, you know, it's not to be mowed, not to push off stuff, you know. It's, take care of it, right? Yes, sir, of course. Well, I'm going to cook some steak now. It's ribeyes that you're going to put on the grill. Really appreciate it. Let me know how them ribeyes turn out. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, late, boy. Love you, too, Dad. Thank you. I really appreciate you giving that to me. Not gonna rage on that for content or anything. Put as many <laughs> motors as it needs, as many blades, pulleys, new deck. It'll last forever in the good low name. Well, get to work, man, love you. <laughs> love you too, dad. See you, man. See ya. I love my dad so much. If anybody out there perceives me as worth anything, all the credit goes to my dad. <laughs> There's another hate comment. This guy was just saying, I've been following you for years now. I really love your videos. Bunch of good heartwarming stuff. LMEO, he literally started the video saying he got blackout drunk at a party hosted by someone he doesn't even know and broke the 20 something dude's mom's chair because these losers all still live with their parents. Yeah, he's so great and he has such a good head on his penis. <laughs> Good head on your shoulders, good head on his penis. What? When I read that, I laughed when it said head on his penis because I didn't expect that at all. If you're broke, just say that. Gotta make some half-ass shirts to make money, loser. By the way, if you're gonna check out my merchandise, go check out rntvshop.com. I'm just gonna apologize before I read this. Y'all might develop visual and auditory cancer from having reading and hearing this comment to educate you. That is not okay. People who actually identify as an animal are called Therians. They spiritually connect with animals from their past life. Furries are people that just think anthropomorphic animals are cool. Anthropomorphic. Anthropomorphic animals are cool. And there are indeed more than two genders. Hundreds, in fact. And no need to be transphobic. I am a trans man. But I'm still a boy? You're, you're like trans man? So you just say you're a girl because you can't get pussy? So you just like Went to the other team. Literally like playing search and destroy, you're getting shit on. Five to nothing, and then last round, you're like, yep, I'm switching teams, you just change teams. You can't do that on Call of Duty. You can't do it in real life. Let me list some genders. Non-binary, gender fluid, agender, demigender, gender fine, gender fey, and many, many more. Maybe educate yourself instead of being transphobic. Educate? So you're telling me all this nilly nonsense is more important to know than actual useful life skills. Dude, literally 50% of your brain capacity is full of crap that does not matter. None of this will help you in real life. Say we look out the window right now, we see red parachutes flying down. Some red dawn stuff's going down. Do you think any of this stuff's gonna matter anymore? No. No, I'm not educating myself on that crap. I do appreciate the uh, Therians. That's funny. Find a way to make a transphobic insult from that. I'll probably forget that word tomorrow. You should definitely go fight Jake Paul's ass, Ken Dog. No. Millions of people watch all these YouTube boxing things. Even MMA fighting, the fans of it, they're watching like, I wish I could get up there, man. I'd, I'd whoop him. No, you wouldn't. These are trained fighters. They are trained to murder with their bare hands. It doesn't matter if you're 280 pounds of solid muscle. A trained fighter is going to whoop you. Jake Paul, if me and him was boxing, he would whoop me. He would make me look stupid. Dude, just because I have somewhat of a nice build, I'm kind of strong, does not mean I can just compete with these animals. Let's be logical and realistic. I'm flattered you think I have a chance, though. <laughs> Dude literally looks like like a serial killer. Get it? Serial killer. <laughs> the last comments I'm gonna go over before I read comments on my channel from 
famous people. Well, I'm not really famous. Nobody like Clint Eastwood or Adam Sandler, but YouTube famous people commenting on my stuff. We're gonna go over those comments. From a old steroid user to a new. All I'm saying is your roids are showing. Calm down, bro, and please don't be using the horse kind. Very dangerous. Love you, man. Why do people say I'm on steroids? I get that in person, at the gym, in my comments, on Snapchat. If I was on roids, I wouldn't look natural. I look very natural. I replied to it. I only use horse roids and protein accessories. Obviously being sarcastic. I mean, I even put horse in all caps. And then people literally replying to it. Wait, you do roids? Thought you got off the juice. <laughs> What? How did y'all not perceive that as a joke, man? I don't, I don't know, man. Most of y'all was like, Ken Dog don't use roids. Bro just naturally a beast. He definitely not on roids. He has a good natty physique. Buddy, if Kenny used roids, he'd be much bigger. The majority of my audience is logical human beings. But this guy right here sounds like you're crushing a little. It's okay. I'm sure Ken Dog is down. You're crushing too, LOL. Dude, they're giving me compliments saying I have a good physique as a natural. And you have to go out of your, oh, <laughs> gay. Buddy. You're the one to talk about crushing. Look at this. He's left hate comments in the past too. 55 comments on this channel. I think you're crushing on me, bud. Somebody replied to that. Who cares if you're doing growth hormone? Just don't try to collect respect with a pumped up chest. Okay, buddy. Chill, bro. My grandma is watching this. Check it out. Look, me and Snoop Dogg are very different, but alike in the same way. You can't smoke in here, young man. Hey, don't worry about it, baby. I got a medical condition. What condition is that? I'm addicted to granny. Who next? Send that gilf this way, brother. Let's see the famous people. We're gonna start with 100K subscriber channels. Then I got two people with a million plus that commented. Got this guy, like 114K subs, I think. Yes, Mr. Ken Doll, got a 6-0. Good, man. When you wanna make some big boy power, let me know. Uh, free diesel, sir, I'm letting you know. I would like to make big boy power. Hit me up. Then we got Outdoor Limits. My old boy, Colt Junkies. He's doing hunting videos now on a different channel. Bow fishing collab? Yes, bro. I would love to go bow fishing with you. If you see this, hit me up on the DM. I'll get back to you on Instagram. JP Stevens, YouTube. Fire emoji, fire emoji. Full wheeler riding guy. I like that wheeler, man. He's got a 850 just like mine. Mine's a thousand. I should have got an 850 shorter wheelbase. I would have enjoyed it more. Wouldn't get high centered as much. This one's weird. Chrissy, Christy, Risinger, MD. Watch you all the time. Please shout me out. Girl, you are a doctor. You making doctor salary. Begging my poor hillbilly ass for a free shout out. That should be commenting on your stuff. Hey, sugar mama, what up? I pretty much just kind of gave you a shout out, even though I didn't mean to. Now the big famous boys. Brugly. 1.14 million subscribers. I watched this mofo four years ago, and I thought it was the coolest thing that I'm from Kentucky too, LMAO. Good stuff. Stuff, dog. And look at you now, man. You're from Kentucky and you got double the subscribers I got. Good job, bro. Dab me up. This is from like two years ago and I've just now seen it. Braden Price, the man, the myth. 1.9 milli subs. What a G. It was on my video where I was talking about getting hacked two years ago when my channel got hacked. I didn't even know he cussed. That fucking blows. Yeah. It was quite unfortunate, my boy. If y'all don't care, the last few channels that I mentioned, go into their comment section for me. Maybe leave a comment, say, hey, Ken Dog mentioned you in his reading comment video. So, something, I don't know. Anything y'all wanna say, just tell them I sent you. A lot of y'all are really gonna have to do that for them to be able to notice it. Hook me up, might be able to Why do some collabs with them. I'd really back, appreciate back, the help. Back. Really hope y'all enjoyed that video.